We at Art Explained are happy to be presenting this wonderful collection of artworks by American artist Robert Indiana. Let's take a look at some of his uh, greatest hits in this very, very tasteful video. Wait a second, wait a second. Is love all that Robert Indiana is known for? Let's give this guy a break. There's gotta be something more, there's gotta be. Welcome to Art Explained, the show where I explain art. My name is Michelle and today's show is in remembrance and celebration of Robert Indiana, an American artist typically associated with the pop art movement who recently passed away at the age of 89 due to respiratory failure. Born Robert Clark in Newcastle, Indiana, he was often inspired by his own personal experiences when creating his typically typographic works. He also cared very much for colors, especially those that clash when combined. One of the best examples of this is love. Here, the O is tilted to create some dynamism while the bold colors conflict with each other, meant to reference the sky and a sign at the gas station that his father worked for. In an interview with Time, Barbara Haskell, curator of the Whitney Museum of American Art, said that the word love was very personal for Indiana and that it was never used in his family while growing up. This artwork is much more than a sculpture though. It's an entire series that has been seen all over the world. This unfortunately ended up hurting Indiana's artistic career more than he would have wanted. In an interview with NPR in 2014, Indiana also said, it became too popular and there are people who don't like popularity. It's much better to be exclusive and remote. He's often mistaken as a one-hit wonder, but he's done much more than most people realize. So enough with love. Instead, let's move forward with discussing some of Indiana's best, lesser-known works that are still worth knowing. Another work of his, called The American Dream No. 1, was Indiana's comment on the superficiality of American life. The critic Lawrence Alloway called it pop poetry of the highway. The 72 inch by 60 inch oil painting was inspired by U.S. roots, his time in the U.S. Air Force, baseball, bars, pinball machines, and roadside cafes. When it comes to stainless steel and light sculptures, Eat is one of his better known works, created in 1964 for New York's World's Fair. The first day it was exhibited, fair officials turned off the lights on the sign after too many tourists came by looking for a bite. It might seem simple, but this work was actually very personal to Indiana, who was not only inspired by the ubiquitous eat signs signaling roadside diners, but also by his mother. Another installation of his involves 10 8 foot tall, 2,000 pound sculptures representing numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. The title is Numbers 1 through 0. This monumental artwork further emphasizes the artist's fascination with numbers and typography. This artwork was influenced by how he had to change households multiple times when he was younger, living in 21 different houses by the age of 17. Each number offers multiple references, including significant personal moments. For instance, the number one represents birth, while the zero represents death. Certainly, Robert Indiana's love has ever shadowed many of his other artworks. But if you're interested in learning more of what he could do, head to robertindiana.com to see everything from his sculptures, to his paintings, to his poetry, all the way back to the 1940s. Good night, sweet prince. We all love you. Call 1-800-SPLAIN-MY-ART to speak with one of our representatives about setting up a monthly small donation, which will help appease the interdimensional being who keeps leaving threatening voicemails.